Right, hi, long time no see. We're already in the middle of May and I think it's only my second video of the year. So again, sorry for the delay, but let's get straight into the video. No point in trying to explain why I haven't made any videos because I seem to do that every video at the moment. So as you can tell by the title, uh, myself as an asexual, I've even got an asexual ring now. I think this is the first video um, wearing it, I, but I've had it for like three months. But again, that shows the inconsistency in my uploads. Uh, but myself as an asexual, I'm going to try three major dating apps, uh, at least here in the UK. These are probably the three main dating apps and I'm going to try them out today as an asexual. Um, how am I going to do this? Well, I'm going to sign up to the accounts today um, and I'm going to, if they give me the option to um, put my sexuality um, on my profile, then I'll do that. Uh, if they don't give the option of putting that I'm asexual, because obviously it's still seen as one of these niche things and not all dating apps sort of include it. Um, so then I will write it in my bio that I am asexual. So it will be a, a clear indication to anyone coming across my uh, my profile that I, I'm not straight, but uh, I'm actually heterosexual instead. So this is going to be like the first episode, basically. I'm just going to be making the accounts today. Oops. As you could probably tell, I don't have a professional setup still. Yep, let's move on. <laughs> so this is just going to be the first episode uh, of a series of episodes. Uh, basically, I'm just going to be making the accounts today, uh, the, an account on each of the site from absolute scratch, uh, no, no prior engagement in these apps. So you can come along for the journey as well. Maybe you don't have the confidence to make a, a profile on something like this. Maybe you're just intrigued what a profile uh, in the UK uh, would be like on these apps as an asexual um, you can do it through me you know there's not many I, I don't think there's a single video that does things like this so it would be really inter interesting to see it live um, I, I might do an update maybe every week maybe every uh, few days depends how successful it actually ends up getting um, but I just want to give you guys uh, an insight of what it might be like uh, being asexual the conversations you'll have obviously I'll blur out everybody's faces um, as being an asexual on the, these apps, whether people care about it, whether people bring it up in conversation, uh, if it limits my matches, uh, I'll get into that and like what I would usually get uh, in a normal day in terms of in terms of matches. And if it differs now that I put asexual, it'll be really interesting to see the difference um, of having this in my profile. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. <laughs> the camera hasn't fallen down yet. <laughs> So right now I'm on my phone. Uh, we're going to start with Tinder. I think I'm going to start a, a Tinder account first. It's probably the most popular dating app and probably one that people would rather see, I guess, other than the other two. So I'm going to give it to you first. Um, I'm not going to be uh, doing any asexual specific dating apps. Maybe I'll do that in the future. But for at least this series and these uh, set of videos, I'm just going to start with these main three uh, which are open to everyone. You can be homosexual, heterosexual, bisexual, it doesn't matter. Um, even asexual. I, I believe Tinder even has the option to put asexual actually in your bio or in on your profile in general, which is really nice to see. So I'm going to put like a screen recording or some screenshots just here um, from now on of these apps uh, if my editing's up to par. Um, I'm going to, you know, get rid of everyone's faces and stuff like that. So privacy is a, a key thing here. So as I say, we're starting with Tinder. So let's sign Let's sign up, basically. I sort of skipped the first part of it, but now we're on to it. So welcome to Tinder. Please follow these house rules. I skipped the first part because it's like my email and sort of wanted a password, stuff like that, my phone number. So obviously, for obvious reasons, I cut that out. But we're on to Tinder, so let's see how we go. So welcome to Tinder. Please follow these house rules. Be yourself. Stay safe. Play it cool. Be proactive. I agree. Good. There's no other option. So my first name, we'll just put my actual name, Alex. I am a man. Uh, sexual orientation, here we go. So, asexual, yep, perfect. It's exactly what, uh, that's, like, it's there. The fact is, it's literally the fifth option. That's incredible that that's there. Um, wow, it's it's great to see that. It's like one of the first things to choose. It's really good. It's, it's taken me by surprise, actually. I'm not used to seeing asexual as an option. Uh, even in questionnaires and stuff like that, you'd often have like, um, you know, heterosexual, homosexual, bisexual, other, or something like this. So it's it's nice to see asexual as an actual option for once. Um, so continue. Shout out to Tinder for that. Um, obviously, as you know, I'm heteromantic, so I'm going to be wanting to see uh, women um, during the course of this. Um, yeah, so rather than any men, so show me women. 
and my university name. I don't go to university anymore. Passions, here we go. Let everyone know what you're passionate about. Let's have a look. Travel, for sure. I like football for obvious reasons. Um, hiking, why not? Um, what else? Yeah, we'll, we'll stick with that. Why not? Yeah, that'll do. Pub quizzes, why not? Yeah, we'll make keep those four. Add some photos. Right, I'm going to go through my photos now and I'll come back once I've inputted some photos because I feel like this might be take a bit of time going through all of my photos and I don't really want you to see all of my photos. So there we go. We've got my pictures set up on my profile. So first of all, we've got a photo of me. Looks like I'm just about to do a TED talk. It's a professional photo when I first became a teacher and they sort of needed like a headshot of you um, just to display on their website to show you the teachers of the school. So that's me looking very happy there. It's a nice, looks like I'm in a rainforest indoors or something uh, behind me. Quite a nice backdrop, quite a nice photo, very professional. Um, secondly, a photo of me uh, standing from a viewpoint in Lake Bled in Slovenia. Uh, again, just shows that I travel and I guess it's a nice photo. I look very happy, lovely landscape. It just shows that maybe I need somebody by my side because <laughs> I look very lonely uh, with a bench behind me with nobody there. So uh, to counter that, the next photo is me with one other person looking very scary. It's one of the only friends I could get. <laughs> just just kidding. Um, obviously, uh, this was fancy dress for um, Halloween. Um, I was dressed up as like somebody being eaten by a shark. Uh, you can't really see it in that photo. And I look a bit happy to be eaten by a shark. Um, yeah, so, but I think it's quite a nice photo. Um, so I kept that there. Uh, the next photo is to show that I've got more than one friend. Here I've got two friends in the photo and somebody in the background looking like they've found a kebab that they really want to eat or something. Um, so yeah, quite a nice photo as well. And finally, uh, another photo from when I was traveling. Uh, I think it's quite a nice close up sort of thing. So you can see what my face is like and also my eyes look insanely blue in it. So if, if people like eyes, then yeah, they can go for that. Okay, so let's let's go into writing things about me. So we've got these five photos. Um, I think I'm happy with that order too. So about me, what shall we put? So we can put um, English, oh no, 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 teach, teach English as a foreign language. Uh, teach English as a foreign language uh, to people all around the world. Um, um, swipe right for a free lesson. <laughs> no, everyone's English. What's the point in that? Uh, we'll just keep it like that. We're not going to, I'm not here to sort of, although I consider myself as funny, I can't really think of anything. It's quite a lot of pressure when I'm being recorded for a video and then I'm making a personal um, profile. So we'll just keep it. So teach English as a front line to people all around the world. Um, can't wait to travel again. So travel again. Um, fed up of the only Greece in my life being from Big Macs. <laughs> being from McDonald's, we'll do that. That'll do. Okay. So it's a profile done, completed. I mean, I didn't do was actually show my orientation on my profile. So I'm gonna tick that box now. So now it will be shown on my profile. So let's give a little bit of a, a preview of this program, of this profile, sorry. So you've got me, does it even show it? Ah, yes, there. So when people look at it, obviously you can see asexual straight underneath Alex. So we'll see if that does anything. We'll see if it alters things. Um, I'm not going to show the swiping. As I say, it's just going to be, um, you know, I'd have to just blur everyone's face out. So I'm just going to do the general swiping in my own time. And this will be my Tinder profile for the next however long. So we'll see how it goes. But let's let's move on to Bumble instead. Okay, so now we're on Bumble. We've downloaded Bumble. 
Um, again, I'm just going to do the first bits again because it'll be all about my email, password, mobile phone number, things like that. So once I've got through all of that, I'll go on to make my profile with all of you. Okay, so we're into the making the profile process on Bumble. So let's have a look. I am a man. Again, it's nice that, you know, they've included non-binary as well. They haven't just put man and woman. It's, it's great. They've even put more gender options. Wait, they put asexual under gender. What? Do I press that? <laughs> okay. Everyone's welcome to Bumble. Um, <laughs> they've asked for my gender and asexual is there. Um, rather than under sexuality. Uh, okay, we'll go for that and we'll show it on the profile. Um, I didn't realise about this. You can probably tell by my... <laughs> I'm reacting to this. Who should see your profile? People looking for women. Oh, people looking for men. I see. Okay. Yeah, but of course, asexual. Are they... Do they not... Wait, I I'm so confused. People looking for men. I, I am still a man. Asexual is not a gender. What's going on? Okay, asexual, not agender. Anyway... People looking for men, right? Uh, choose a mode to get started. Date. Da, da. We'll do date. Uh, I'm interested in women. Um, yeah. We'll go with a relationship because that's. I wouldn't want something casual. Uh, you know, okay. you're here for a relationship. Build my profile. Not now. What is your height? I am six foot exactly, 183 centimetres for those in Europe. Do you work out? Uh, skip. <laughs> um, I am a Gemini. Um, what's your education? I am an undergrad. Uh, socially, never. Uh, skip. Um, skip. Skip. I don't think religion or politics are important to have in your profile. So, uh, add a profile prompt. Skip. Right, here I'm just going to copy and paste the same bio in tin, uh, as I've got in Tinder just to make it sort of, you know, I've got the same photos, so I have the same bio, so it's just the same across the board just to see if it, it makes any difference across, uh, if any of the apps are uh, more successful. At least it's like a fair test because I'll be using the same bio, the same pictures, everything like that. So it'll be interesting to see. So I'm just going to go and copy and paste the bio I've got from Tinder into Bubble now. OK, so I've set up my profile now. One thing I forgot to say is that on Bumble, it's slightly different to Tinder. Uh, I should have really said how it works for those that maybe haven't done online dating before or used any dating apps. But on Tinder, the people you like is kind of superficial because you sort of um, swipe left to the ones that you don't like, don't like the appearance of, don't like the bio of, uh, don't like the look of in general. Uh, that's all you go on. Literally, you don't talk to them beforehand. That's it. You literally choose on their profile, whether you like them, whether you don't like them, etc. On Bumble, it's slightly different. So it's exactly the same. Like I would get a free choice over the girls I like and the girls I dislike. Um, however, um, if we both like each other on Tinder, uh, either of us can make the, the move first. Anyone can send the first um first message to one another however on bumble only the girls can do that so if i like somebody they like me back um i wouldn't be able i still wouldn't be able to message them they would have to message me first that's the only difference here so let's look into this uh yeah so if the girl doesn't message within 24 hours then that's it you did the match is finished <laughs> that's it you've lost your chance basically and so you you're kind of hoping that they they message you uh, in, in the first 24 hours otherwise there's there's no point in having the match really so got it before you swipe welcome good okay time to catch feelings let's see shall we my profile they're already trying to sell me stuff but 
we're not going to get into that. So here I am, Alex, 24, almost 25, as I'm a Gemini, as I said before. Um, teach English as a foreign language to people all around the world. Can't wait to travel again. Fed up of the only Greece in my life being from McDonald's. For those that don't get it, I'm not saying that McDonald's is from Greece. I'm saying like the greasiness from it. The Greece, it's, it's, it's a pun. Um, good. Same photos, as I say. Um, so it's exactly the same as my profile on Tinder. So again, um, I'm not going to show any of the swipes. Um, I'm just going to swipe myself and, you know, get back to you then because there's no point in blurring these people out. Uh, when I, you know, you you wouldn't really get out anything out of me swiping left and right because you wouldn't be able to see the people's profile or face anyway. So, yeah, I'll do that myself. But let's get into making the Hinge profile. Okay, so we're now on the Hinge app. So we're going to create a profile one here. So it'll be interesting to see again the comparison between all of them. And let, let's get started into making the account on Hinge. Okay, so what is your gender again? Uh, more. Let's hope. They don't do the same thing. Have they put it in here? No. Phew. Thank fuck. Okay. So yeah, I'm a man, of course. Who do you want to date? I want to date women. I am six foot tall. Uh, prefer not to say. Uh, da -da -da. Prefer not to say. So all of the profiles again are the same. So they have the same information on them. Um, ba -ba -ba. where's your hometown it's not necessary where do you work it doesn't matter what's your job title I'll put English teacher here where did you go to school doesn't matter it's the highest level you attained undergrad where did you believe uh, doesn't matter prefer not to say uh, prefer not to say just like the other ones do you drink sometimes do you smoke? No. Do you do smoke weed? No. Do you do drugs? No. I accept. Okay. Okay, so I'll get the photos done, complete the rest of the profile by myself like I've done before, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we've inputted the photos, the same five as before. No change again, it's exactly the same as the other ones. Let's see what else they asked me to do. If it will load, I guess they're uploading the photos. There we go. Okay, so write your profile answer. Select a prompt. What I order for the table. Okay. I think here, this is where I need to put that main section. I think this is the, there's no sort of bio on this one. You sort of need to sort of have a prompt and then answer it, for example. So I think in one of these, uh, I need to sort of... Um, put that I'm asexual so this is a perfect thing I take pride in so pride so um, pride is actually the perfect word to use here use here as I'm asexual and proud why not we'll spell it with a capital A I won't put it in all capitals just to scare everyone but we'll do that Pride is, the, is actually the perfect word to use here as I'm asexual and proud. Super. I think that's great for there. Um, again, we'll include the same information that I used w before with um, other things. So my simple pleasures. No, I geek out on. No, a life goal. Most spontaneous thing I've ever done. Yeah, we'll do this because uh, I went traveling uh, around Europe by myself for two months um, upon quitting my job. Yeah, pretty much exactly the same as then just saying I like sort of love traveling. Maybe this is a bit more detail. Um, so maybe it's cheating a little bit. But again, I think this is a good prompt for this, this sentence. So we'll go with that. And um, and what was the other thing? Uh, English teacher, I need to put something about my job. Uh, give me travel tips for, don't hate me if I, my mantra is, I'm a regular at, together we could. Uh, I know I found the one when the dorkiest thing about me is. Um, is. Um, uh, I'll put like being a grammar perfectionist uh, since I'm an English teacher. Yeah, I think that works. 
and we'll put a little fat photo of it. Okay. As I say, I'm not spending too much time on this. I'm not very crazy. I'm not sort of, you know, if something happens through this, fantastic. That would be incredible if part of the story is like I meet somebody through these apps. You know, I'm happy to meet someone, which is why I'm sort of happy to make these profiles. I'm not making them as just sort of a, a joke and just to see. Um, you know, it would be, I, I wouldn't make the profile if there wasn't actually some other incentive too. Um, so yeah, it'd be cool to meet someone as well. And maybe that might actually happen in the future. But as I said, I'm not going to put so much time into it. I think the most important thing is, is the fact that I've got asexual on my profile and just to see how much of an impact that has uh, than the other content that I'm putting on my profile. So we shall see. So start sending like, yeah, exactly. So there's no other, um, there's no other thing on my profile. So as you can see from the profile, there's no other thing way, there's no other way that I can actually uh, put a bio. So it was a good job that I did put that I was asexual in, in one of those prompt things because there's no way to put it as a, uh, a sexuality on your profile. Obviously on Bumble, they, they didn't even have that. They put it as a gender, which is really concerning. I've never seen that before. I didn't realise they did that. Um, that's really interesting since it's such a big app. I'd say it's like the second most popular one in the UK. Um, so again, now I've made this um, hinge app, so we'll see how we get on with it. Let's have a quick look through all of it now we've all done. So we've got the five photos. I take pride. Pride is actually the perfect word to use here as I'm asexual and proud. Uh, I went traveling around Europe by myself for two months upon quitting my job. Uh, the dorkiest thing about me being a grand perfectionist since I'm an, uh, an English teacher. Super. So we've got all of the same information. Uh, on all of the so this is where they'll see it they'll literally see it underneath my my first photo so it's not like it's like hidden down below they will see it on my profile pretty pretty promptly pun the pun because they're prompts um but uh yeah it's all there so 88 percent complete so i have to put something else in to make it visible or something 88 percent complete what am i missing what am i missing ah i need another photo Okay, here I need six photos, so I'll add another one and then get back to you. Okay, so the profile is now complete by adding just another photo. It's just a silhouette of me, let's be honest. So it's not even like I, you know, you can really tell. So I didn't think it will make that much of a difference having this photo here and not on the other two profiles. But uh, yeah, we can see. Um, if you wish, you know, you can send a comment saying that you wish me to put this pro uh, photo on the other ones. That's not a problem. Um, but I think it's fine just leaving it as it is. So we're saving the profile like that and it's all set up, just joined. Okay, so I'll get swiping on this app as well and we'll I'll get back to you. So as I say, I'll do an update video depending on how it all goes, maybe in a couple of days time, maybe a week's time. Um, I will definitely do one in a week's time, like even if I don't get any matches whatsoever because it will be a good insight to see that I've got no matches in a week. Um, um, I'm going to be swiping at least a few times each day. I'm going to be actively doing this and on these apps, just sort of uh, like a regular user would. I'm not going to treat them any differently. I'm not going to favour one app over the other. I'm going to equally use them just as much times. Uh, it's also not sort of an experiment where I'm going to be saying, oh, this app's better for asexuals than this app. Again, it's just a, it's just an insight. Um, I don't think one is better than the other, but it's nice to sort of use all three uh, just to give a feel, uh, get a feel rather than just using one and sort of uh, saying that this is just the only dating app. It's nice to sort of give a bit of variety here and use free apps that sort of do similar things and might produce similar results or different results. It'll be interesting to see over time, I think. So thank you for watching this video. I'll stop the video recording on my phone now. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Again, it's just an idea I've had. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, please leave a like if you want to see more episodes. As I say, I'm sure I'll come up with another update in a week, so you won't have to wait as long this time for a new video. Um, so fingers crossed for me. I hope I, you know, find something or we can have some nice conversations with people. It'd be interesting to see what people say, uh, especially since that my 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 gender on uh, on Bumble is asexuality. So if people um, catch on to that. And uh, it'll be interesting to see what they say or if they understand that, that Bumble was sort of wrong here, assuming it is a gender or see if they even notice that. Um, so, yeah, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next time. If there's any improvements, I'm all about the improvements. So if there's something that you think that I should do that I haven't done yet, um, please let me know in the comments. Uh, thank you if you've got this far in the video. 
and uh, I really hope to see all of you that have got this far in the video in my part two, which should be coming in a week or so. So take care and I'll speak to you very soon.